Hey guys, uh, I'm back again. Here's another cool thing that I've learned with my Mac over a uh, little bit of time that I've had it. See, I have all these programs opened. Let's open up all of them for you. Basically, what this is is not all my programs on my computer, just some of them. Basically, what I'm trying to show you is down here where you have kind of all like your apps or your icons there's these little dots hanging from under them which one of, basically what you're gonna do is they're all open right now most of them right you're gonna click exit you're gonna close programs right you're gonna exit all of them right and you're gonna think that you'll be actually closing the program but what you're really doing is you're just kind of like minimizing them because most of them will stay open because they're still running in the background. You'll get those few that will close completely, but most of them will stay running in the background, right? So what you want to do is basically you're going to like right click on it and you click quit. And then once that dot goes away, it's completely closed. See so if you right click on it again, it'll say open and won't say quit. If you go one without the dot, say open, one with the dot, say quit, and then all the other stuff. So what you're only going to do is, after you're done using it, just quit them all, because it's just basically, if you, if you have a laptop, it's going to save your battery life, right? So you have longer, like, time on your battery, or, like, if you just use, if you have a desktop computer... It's just gonna so your like your computer's not working 24/7. I'm not gonna close this one right now because this is what I'm using to record. That's basically it. So I don't know. That's it. Basically, when if you click on one, it'll be bouncing. That means it's opening. Then the dot means that it's opened. Right now, it's open. Google's open right now. If I close it, it's still not closed completely. Just click quit and. Once the dot goes away, it would be completely closed. Now, you can't close Finder because that's basically your hard drive and kind of like the search bar and everything. You can only hide it, but there's really no point of hiding it because it does nothing. It just doesn't really show up here. It just shows nothing. So that's all that is, and this is where we're going to be cutting the video. Thanks, and bye-bye.